hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can update or edit the exist existing test cases which we have in the ADO right in Azure DevOps so if you go one by one in, in all the test cases and let's suppose you have to update 50 test cases and it will take a lot of time for you guys right to update in the Azure DevOps right so how we can update in one go basically like the way we used to do in Excel sheets right so let's take a look to that part today. So first of all, I will create one test plan. I already have an existing test plan, but I will create just one more to show you. Let's say manage test cases or something. Okay. So I have the test plan ready. Now uh, let's add the suit inside it. Okay. So there are three ways to add the suits. Okay, let's go one by one. Let's let's create a requirement based suit. Okay, in which um, we will be fetching the test cases which are linked to a particular requirement, or or we can fetch all the test cases which are linked to uh, some requirements or basically the product backlog or the user stories. Okay, I'll click on this. It will find out the requirement category okay microsoft requirement category work item type it's, it's by default it will create the query for you so you don't have to worry about it okay and then run it okay so if you see here below in the result section okay okay so you will see all the product backlogs are here right now for which product backlog you want I mean for which product backlog you want to add in your test plan basically or in the test suit okay so let's say I, I I don't remember exactly for what all requirements or what all product backlogs I have the test cases but let's say I, I'll add these uh, six okay and let's see if they have the test cases or not I'll create the suit now if you see here it created the suits based on the user requirements okay or product backlog and if you see for okay mm -hmm. we have few test cases for few of them okay so for the first four user stories i have few test cases okay and for the rest two i don't have so what i'll do i can delete it okay so how to delete a basically a test suit you can simply go for this id confirm it's deleted in the same way you can delete it we'll give you the id here you just have to enter it and to confirm it so we have these test cases right now again let's suppose i wanted to update the test cases for this particular product backlog okay so there are two test cases i can simply go and click on this grid view okay and it will give me an option directly here okay so let's say uh, i'll say after this checkout um, update and here I have to change and update. Okay, and let's say here I'll do say update. Okay, so I updated three steps in one go, right? I don't have to go one by one in each step and do it. Okay, and then you have this option save all. Done. So it's done now. So you're good to go. Now, what if you wanted to add one step? Okay, I'll refresh it. Everything is updated, right? We are getting, seeing this update. Now, let's see what, what if you wanted to add a step here. Let's say after login, you wanted to add one step, right? I'll close the grid and I'll again open it. Okay. So I have to go for each and every test case and I have to insert the row, right? Like this way. And I can add it here. Correct. like this way and then let's say uh, uh, click on the ui link or something anything right right and then you can save it right so and if you have to do it for all the test cases again i mean just for two it is fine right you can do it now but let's say since your application uh, has some changes right maybe they have created three different parts in it and now 
to reach out to those but they have added separate tags in it right so you have to go through with the tags like for you this user story there, there there should be some other tag this user story there should be some other tags or, or kind of things like there could be any change so you want to update now all the test cases irrespective of each of any user stories okay so if is if there is only if the change is for one user story obviously this will help you right grid view you can select this grid view it will give you an option to edit it right but let's say um, i have i think 24 test cases in my uh, in, in this project if i talk about i think 23 and let's suppose i wanted to update each and every one oh, right so how to do that correct so let's take a look how to handle that part so what i'll do i'll put it over here in this plan okay and I'll, I'll don't uh, do anything with this suit okay let's say i wanted to create another suit correct i'll go here i'll put in this okay and inside this again this time i'll create a let's say query based suit okay okay so it will again give me an option to create the test cases under the product backlog or you can fetch all that all the test cases which are related to a product backlog which are related to the product backlogs at least they have some linking okay if the test cases is linked to the product backlog it will give me the list okay so if you see here we'll get all yeah we'll get all the test cases right okay so if you see 18 are linked okay so basically 18 test cases are linked I want all 24 test cases okay so what I'll do instead of creating this uh, requirement base query base I'll create one static suit simple okay I'll name it as let's say manage test cases kind of thing update okay and inside this one what I will do I will add the test cases all my test cases so here if you see add a test case we have an option right so instead of adding, I mean, to add a test case, there are two ways, right? Either you can add existing or the new one. So I'll do add an existing test cases. And I want all my test cases here, right? Because I want to change each of them. So I, I run the query. I select all my test cases here, control A, select one, control A, so that it will select all of them. And then add test cases. Now, each of these test cases are added here. Okay. So you can simply click on this grid view. Okay. And you can update it here or what you can do maybe if you are not so i mean if, if you're thinking like working on this uh, in the test plan itself is quite hectic or something like right? so what you can do you can close this grid you can export the test case to the csv file okay if you open this okay you'll get the steps and everything here right and you can update your things just one thing you have to remember here don't change these ids okay and once you're done with this okay let's suppose you, you are done with these test cases okay you didn't change anything let's say for test case number 107 i i changed one thing update it okay and for uh, uh, for 108 as well i'll do that okay so i have updated two let's say for the example now what i will do i'll go this and i will import the test cases okay choose it and i think this is the one which we had just started okay now open import may get overwritten by this option do you want to proceed confirm now it will add those test cases okay and uh, what i just did okay uh one zero seven one zero eight one minute why the changes are not coming on me let me save this okay manage test cases update okay it's there everything is here let me close it Again, let me import the test cases. 
an import yeah so if you see here this time none of the test cases are created if you see but how many updated 23 because we didn't created any test case in our Excel sheet right we have just updated few of them and the update but updating part you can see here directly right so this is how you can update as in bulk okay in the in the azure devops okay so i have told you two methods one is you can use this grid view or if you have multiple updates better go with the uh, downloading the excel sheets and i mean exporting the excel sheet and then make the changes and then import it right the only thing you have to remember is don't change the ids okay so that's it for this video thank you i hope this video will help you thanks a lot